My name is Tamara Balsamitis. I am a happily married mom. I have two little girls that I adore, and I have Lyme disease and co-infections. Today is day 24 of the two good days, and the other 22 have been spent in bed. I don't believe the government actually invented the tick or invented this, the infection, but I wouldn't be surprised if they tried to harness all of the types of illness you can get from a tick and try to use it for uh, no good. I'm happy in the morning and I'm getting work done and in the evening I am depressed and I can't breathe and my world is ending. Day and night sweats. Sleep disturbances, memory issues, brain fog, emotional lability. Headache, fatigue. Danny, relax. Danny, we're here. Danny. Danny! Danny? Okay. Come back to us. Come back. Come back. Come back. The doctors thought it was earlier bronchitis acting up and placed me on antibiotics, which made me much sicker. Several of them just said it was pretty much in my head and that I should see a psychiatrist. Here's an antidepressant. Go see this therapist, this psychiatrist. My son now has um, autism because he had Lyme disease as an infant. There have been all sorts of controversies regarding why the Infectious Disease Society refuses to admit this is a chronic illness. The fact that they refuse to admit it means insurance companies don't have to treat people who may need long-term medicine. I was told that I looked too well to be sick. <laughs> I had to stop working. We drained our life savings. And went four years undiagnosed. With, I'm guessing, half a million dollars spent, I only have an answer to what was wrong with me because a dear friend was diagnosed with Lyme disease who was going through the same thing. Lyme appears to affect far more people than AIDS in this country. A conservative estimate from the CDC reported that there are 200,000 new cases a year, five times that of AIDS in the U.S. It's puzzling why there's this resistance about Lyme disease. It's an illness that you can really treat, you can really help, and you can really make a difference.